Hi guys, it's week 13. I hate saying the number 13. Dramatic Aquatics. So, as you can see, the place is in a right old state. Underneath the dust sheet here is the nearly finished plant tank. So we've got all the dividers in there. You'll get a better idea of this in a, in a few days time. So all the dividers are in. And it's looking good. The tidying up to do on the silicon. So we're still waiting for Dan. Um, who's going to put the fronts on these units they're actually they're all working now so we've got the sumps filled up they're on test um, they're not running at the moment because as you can see we've got the electricity wires just hanging absolutely everywhere we are getting a few sockets put in here round the back this is where the fuse board's going to go and this is a little quarantine room and if we look down the back you can see all of the plug sockets um, and again this is the back we're in a right state it is literally it's like a garage workshop at the moment in here and along the back there's more plugs to go in here so all them wires hanging down they should all be sorted out very very soon hopefully next week as you can see down the artist's in there he is like doing his Darth Vader impersonation and Doink is back there's Doink give her a squeak Doink <coughs> fantastic and Liam's just done a runner so still on with the boards uh, that's a manta ray which is going to go up on the it's ceiling show you this thing you're right there we go fantastic so that will bend over and give us this oh you can see the other fish coming out there now Dan yeah that's brilliant it. yeah so that's the sort of thing we're having on the ceiling. Brilliant. So the other boards that the guys have done. There we go. So change the sides of the polytunnel now. To look like the inside of a massive aquarium. And if we take a look at the other side you can see half the roof's in place just while it gets a quick outline done. And we're taking the boards down. And then getting some more detail done and if we have a look from over here everything's turning blue it's not the camera it's actually the the feel of the room so there we go that's what it looks like now i'm just going to try and get this from a different angle as well Oop, just by climbing up the ladders so that's the side of the polytunnel at this side getting dark now so you end up getting the true coloration looks absolutely great and Darren's just done putting the, the finish on the tops and that's the sort of effect that will get you in the daytime off the art which you can see up on the ceiling it really is looking like we are inside of an aquarium obviously there's a lot of work to do over the next week and I think this is the sun just going in on the top which is Dan's on with at the moment so it is going to look absolutely amazing not a great deal to tell you on this one we should be getting ready to open next week um, so there'll be a lot going on we've got the big tank to build we're just on getting this system running um, they're in place yeah that's about it for this week we've had we've had with challenges unfortunately the biome has now got a hole in it somebody dropped the drill but um, yeah wasn't going to do an update but we thought better Rad, just to keep you in the loop we're still working here um, but there'll be a load of updates coming next week and one day we have to get this big tank built otherwise it's just going to get in the way so that's it for this week guys thank you for watching don't forget to stick a comment in the comment box and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Cheers for watching.